Today I have an Edgar challenge. I'm gonna call everyone's name that I believe is a YouTube barber in my opinion. I did the courtesy of writing down a list. So what you trying to do, just fade it up? You just fade it up? Shave it up. You want me to make it look like a little messy up top? I've never mm -hmm. gotten that style, so I didn't know what that was called. I didn't know that was called texture, yeah. texturizing or whatever. Yeah, we can we can rock with that. We can like, do something messy up top, I think, I think that'll be good. So let's jump straight into it. So you guys can see my client. It's been a little minute since he got a, his last haircut. He usually comes to me usually about every two weeks. Um, but he decided to let it wolf out for a little bit, you know, just getting colder out. So usually we trim the top with a five guard, but today we're going to just add a little bit of texture. He likes the length, so we're going to go ahead and section it real quick. I'm just going to point cut the top and then section off like the transition area. And cut that accordingly so we're just gonna point cut just a little bit and this is what I like to call the transition area now his hair looks like it's super hard to fade it's really not you just have to kind of respect it you got to respect hair you know if that makes sense I know it sounds crazy but you you literally have to respect it and what I mean by that is like really be careful with your guidelines like this this type of hair isn't forgiving if you're scissor over combing this type of hair it's not forgiving if you're clipper over combing it's not forgiving so in this type of texture personally I'm I don't clip over comb this texture it's too risky clip over comb is best for all other textures except this. He has very fine hair. So it lays straight down. So it w any inconsistency in the fade, it will show. And we usually just do like a, a mid drop fade pretty much. Majority of the focus on this haircut is the texture on top and the shape and his lineup so with an edgar cut like this the lineup is always going to be very important because you don't want to expose their forehead completely you just want to make it sharp and symmetrical so i'm going to show you guys how i attack my edgar lineups and notice how when i fade with the guards i'm like scooping out because like i said it's very unforgiving if you if you patch a client like this, you can cover it up, but it's just a pain. It's a pain. So once the blend is done, we're gonna go ahead and just scissor over comb any area that I feel like needs more attention. Now this side kind of, his hair grows forward as it should. And this side has a slight um, slant to the growth pattern. And since I'm right-handed, it's a little awkward fading like this because I'm like turning my wrist, but we still got the job done. My trouble areas with this haircut is it's always usually around his C cups, the area I'm in right now. Cause I try and keep it as dark as possible, but it's easy to patch it cause his hair is so, so fine. Your shears are just gonna be your best friend on Edgar's. On the lineup part, on the, on the cut in the top, it's just, they're just gonna be your best friend. So for the back, I'm very careful because his um, occipital bone is pretty low. It's right where the clipper is right now. If you take it up above that, it will show. So we're basically just flicking and I'ma kinda just act like I faded it and then just come back with my shears. So I'm gonna start with my actual shears and then I'm gonna switch to my thinning shears. I don't usually use thinning shears, honestly, but for a situation like his lineup I do, you'll see what I do. I start with my three. And as you can see, this is all overhang. And then I take my thinners
And then I'm gonna switch to my Andis 2. So why the Andis 2? It's forgiving. The Babyliss 2, it cuts a little too short. So I recommend for Edgar, a lot of people usually start in a C cups. For me, it don't really matter where you start. It's You're gonna get trouble if you start in the vertical bars. Ver the vertical bar lineup which is this part right here, is always gonna be the hardest part about an Edgar. Cause usually the hair is very long in the area and the direction of it, that it grows and that you have to cut, it's awkward. And this is a trick I've been doing for years. Just take your shears. Cause sometimes the hair will reject it cutting because of the way one, the way you're holding the blade to the way the cutter blade of the trimmer is like positioned, it could just be awkward. And as you can see, that lineup is crispy. I really feel like I'm, I'm very good at doing like just lineups. That's my specialty. So I'm going to connect it to the other side. And this is his weaker side of his lineup. He got a full lineup. Like he doesn't need enhancements but he, he likes it just on his vertical bars and his C cup just to add that extra oomph. And I don't really use my razor in him. It's just not necessary all the time. So whenever you add enhancements on Edgar, it's gonna blow all the hair like in different directions. So once you finish adding it, comb the hair back down and then reline it like I just did. You didn't see it, but I relined it. And look at that thing, that thing crispy. So I'm gonna finish up his facial hair. He likes it just round it off and disconnect it. So I'm gonna use some slick gorilla. I like to add it a good amount. Um, with other products, you just have to use a pinch. I use a lot of slick gorilla and I wet my hands first just to mix the product in. Yeah, it looked way better. Way better, way better than yeah. just having it having just like flat. Clean. Yeah. Well, you know, well, you gave me the George Niang. You probably don't know what it is, but. Yeah, he has Sixers player. Yeah, he, he left kinda, though. Yeah, he yeah. left, but he kind of got this top. Like, I don't know what he be doing to his <laughs> No, this is sharp, bro. I appreciate it, my dog. It looks great. My girl gonna love it. Yes, sir. So you guys saw the, the transformation. This is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Sheesh, look at that. The texture though. So. What this challenge is about, do an Edgar haircut. Let's see what your Edgar looks like. If you're up for the challenge, I'm gonna call everyone's name that I believe is a YouTube barber in my opinion. Tag me in the videos, or if you don't wanna tag me, I understand that also. Let's let the people decide who got the best Edgar cut. I did the courtesy of writing down a list. This isn't in order. If you're not on this list, because either the lack of consistency, the lack of uploads, or I just don't consider you a YouTube barber, maybe you're more famous on Instagram, or maybe you're in like a group channel. You know, it's like a group channel. Is that really a YouTube barber? Sometimes it can be, but anyways. Chris Basio, Game Changer, 360 GZ, Yo Fonz, Wavy K Kev, Dre Clipper Hands, Get Beamed, Tank Be Choppin, Sean Cuts Hair, Matt Gifted Hands, David S. Camilla, Lake Fades, Josh X Barber, I Cut Hair for Fun, Marty Blends, George Zepeda, Faded Culture, Barber Style Directory, Barber Head Chris, Cuts by Reggie, JV Cuts, S Craft Blends, Mr. Outliner. Take the challenge, let's see if you got what it takes. And a lot of people say, oh, I want all the smoke. Where does smoke come from? A fire. Right? I'm giving out fire. I want to see you guys give me fire back.